Hi, welcome to this video about calculating BRIA scores with the scoring package in R. BRIA scores are used to evaluate the accuracy of probabilistic predictions. That could be probabilistic predictions made by human forecasters, and it could be probabilistic predictions made by machine learning algorithms. First we have to load the package, then we will build a very simple example. Here we have four forecasts, that is probabilistic predictions how likely a certain event will be for four events. And the second column, reality, this is the outcome. Reality 1 means yes, it did happen, and 0, no, it didn't happen. So the first line would be that the forecaster predicted a 50% probability of the event happening, and Later on, it did happen. The second line, prediction of a 40% probability of the event happening, and it did not happen. To calculate Drea scores, you take the difference between forecast and reality, and you square it. And to get a Brea score for all four predictions, for instance, if those were four predictions by one forecaster, you would calculate the mean of those squared differences. For that, we use the Brea score function, from the scoring package. First the column with the outcome, then the tilde, then the column with the probabilistic forecast, and then the name of your data frame. Those are the four values for the four forecasts, but what we really want to know is the average quality of the forecasts. So this would be the Brea score for this forecaster based on his or her forecast for those four events. The best possible Brier score would be a 0, the worst possible Brier score would be a 1. In most cases, it's a little bit more complicated, because most cases you want to compare different forecasters or different machine learning algorithms. To demonstrate how you can do this with the Brier score function, we use a different data set, World Events, that's part of the scoring package. In this data set, we have seven forecasters who predicted three possible events, and each forecaster predicted the same events. So we have items, or in this case, events 1, 2, and 3. The forecast is the probabilistic forecast, that is, the value the predictor or the forecaster gave, and answer is the true result. So answer 0 means that the first event didn't happen, the second event didn't happen either, the third event happened. And now we want to calculate Brea scores for all forecasters and see which forecaster has made the best forecasts. Again, we use the Brea score function, answer, that is the true result, tilde, the forecast, our data frame, and now a new parameter, group. We can group our results by a column of the data frame. In this case, we want to group by forecaster because we want to get the results for each forecaster. With this additional parameter, we get two types of results. We get raw scores and we get Brea averages. Raw scores are again the values for one specific forecast. So this value here is based on the first forecast by the first forecaster. Forecast was 51%. The correct forecast would have been 0. So the difference between 0 0.51 and 0 squared, and that's this value. But what we really want to know is the average Brea score for each forecaster. And we find those in this line. So the first forecaster got a Brea score of 0.42. And that's quite bad. That person said 51% probability that the first event will happen, and it didn't happen. 81% forecast for the second event, but that didn't happen either. And only a 41% probability that the third event would happen, but that happened. So that's basically the worst forecast of all seven. The best forecast here, forecaster number two, with a Brea score of 0.02. Let's look at the predictions of this forecaster. First event, prediction, only 4% probability, and it didn't happen. Second prediction, 15% probability, and it didn't happen. And third event, 80% probability, and it did happen. That's a very good forecast. So that's it for Brea scores with R. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel 
just click on the subscribe button below this video. Thank you so much for watching.